everyone? Jared and here, you're watching Tita Fit. In this channel, we like to talk about health, fitness, wellness, and that kind of thing. So if you are into those, make sure to follow our channel, subscribe, like, you know the drill, and let's go. So today's video, we are gonna answer a subscriber's uh, question. So the subscriber asked us this question on Instagram. So if you haven't been following us on Instagram yet, Open your Instagram app, search at TitoFitPH, and then follow. Alright, so now that that's done, that's already done, you may want to subscribe as well. Anyway, so we have the question from Erlane Shane Torres. I don't know if I'm saying that right, is this Erlane? Anyway, so Shane, ask the question. Almost minus 20 kilograms for over a year. How about the saggy arms po, EY? Okay, so congratulations, Erlene, on losing more than 20 kilos in a year. That is no small feat. That is 44 pounds, to be exact. If I'm not mistaken, that's about 44.4 pounds. That's a pretty big weight loss. The problem with that amount of weight loss sometimes is if it happens too fast, the skin doesn't have enough time to catch up with the rate of weight loss. So as you're losing fat, the fat's going away, but the skin stays the same size because it had to accommodate, it had to stretch to accommodate that fat before. So now that you have lost that fat though, sometimes we see it in like, it's just sagging in the arms or yeah, usually in the triceps. So there are a few things that you can do to make this unsightly jiggle a little less. So first thing, now we're already here. We can't do anything, we're there. Here's the thing, you can slow down the rate of your fat loss, which is a natural progression anyway. So your fat loss is going to slow. You may want to slow your fat loss from, you know, only to about a maximum of one to two pounds a week, maybe even less than that. That's because if you're losing fat too much, you know, the skin has no time to adjust. But if you lose the fat a little bit slower, the skin will have enough time to adjust and reduce the size a little bit better. It will be a little bit better for you. Now, number two, you may want to fill, since the skin's already there, you may want to fill that up with enough muscle. So how do you do muscle? Build the muscle in your arms. Do a lot of triceps exercise, arms exercises, just like this guy over here. That's yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Best deltoids. Best deltoids in the Philippines. Greatest deltoids of all time. Greatest deltoids of all time, according to his staff. So a little bit of a biased view there, or is it according to you? No, it's self-proclaimed. Uh, self-proclaimed. Okay. Yeah, okay. So right, it's uh, <laughs> uh, we're all entitled to our own opinion, so that's cool. <laughs> So anyway, if you haven't seen our functional exercises for functional looking arms, check that video out. That's gonna be here. We're gonna link to that video. So make sure to uh, follow our videos and so that you have some idea of what exercises you should do. Now given that, of course, compound multi-joint exercises that hit the arms are still the best. You know, as much as possible, I'm not a fan of completely isolating muscle groups a la bodybuilder. So I would still prefer push-ups, bench presses, dumbbell bench presses, dips, uh, ring dips, things like that. Even reverse curl, uh, reverse chin-ups or, or chin-ups. So we do chin-ups with an underhand grip that will hit your biceps more. No, things like this. Yeah, narrow grip bench press. There you have it. Thanks, Coach Anton. Close grip bench presses. If you need equipment, check it out. Metcon Group PH best equipment in the Philippines. Now that's not self-proclaimed. Sure. <laughs> there you have it. That's the second. And now the third tip I have for you. You may want to consider supplementing with collagen peptides and vitamin C. Now why collagen peptides? Collagen peptides improves the elasticity of your skin. Not medical advice by the way. Alright, so but check it out. Collagen peptides. A lot of people have some success with it. You can easily find it. It's good for your skin, your joints, your nails, your hair things like that, connective tissue. And vitamin C is also good to be supplemented with collagen because they are synergistic. They help each other be absorbed by the body better. So those are my tips for you to be able to help with the saggy arms. Now, here's the thing though, don't get disheartened. You have embarked on a very, very amazing journey of weight loss, fat loss over a period of a year, and you're still in a better state than you were a year ago, even with the saggy skin. Now in some, very rare cases which are really, really hopeless. Some of this, don't get disheartened, it may need some surgery. It may need the help of a plastic surgeon or a cosmetic surgeon 
and sometimes in some cases where there is a really really extreme amount of weight loss such as you may have seen uh, examples of these in reality TV shows where people lose like 200 pounds and then they have all of this skin hanging around you know in cases like that sometimes it's really just about the surgery but that being said you know keep doing what you're doing early make sure to keep working out properly you know fix your diet eat whole nutritious foods and get that activity in daily and you know what who knows in about three to five years you might not even have this problem at all if you've built enough muscle and you may be at the end of the day it's not about your appearance but it's more about how you feel it's about your health and those are the things that are really important so that being said we'll see you in the next one let me know down below if you have questions it's best to reach out to us on instagram that's where we follow the questions but comment down below was this video helpful to you? Was this video good for you? Let me know down below and I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. See ya!